Hey everyone, how's it going today? Today's September 5th. It's uh, yeah, it's like 60 degrees today. Perfect D-Town weather. But I'm just too lazy today to, to do any. So today's video is going to be about waterless washes, rinseless wash, and when to use your, your garden hose. Um, basically, I've seen this comment in a different uh, channel. And I figured that's kind of a good idea to even make a video on this. I mean, I haven't used every a bunch of products on um, waterless wash. Um, this is the only first one, but rinseless wash. I used I use Wolfgang, and I have used Suds right here. It worked great. I have I still have the O and R. I have not tried it yet. But um, yeah, let's talk about it real quick. To me, like for waterless wash, this one's got wax in it. I would use this for if your vehicle's kind of dusty, light dirt, not uh, real caked on soil, any dirt on your vehicle. This would be perfect for, um, I don't know, say you wash your vehicle um, a week ago and it didn't rain and you had basically good weather for the whole week, you just have some dust on it, a little bit of dirt, you know, not nothing major. And this is perfect for that right here. And I'll, and I'll have videos on me using these products at, in the end links at the end of this video if you want to check them out. So I think that'd be perfect for this. And then the rinseless wash, you can have like, I don't know, you can have a little bit of dirt. Not, not of it's not real caked on. Um, you can do it a little bit dirty. Well, that sound good. <laughs> so you can have, in my opinion, you can have the, uh, the vehicle a little bit dirty when you uh, want to use a rinseless wash because you can use more water. And then by using water, what you're going to be doing, you can use a, a spray, a spray right here. This one, it's an IK I picked up. And this one I got at Amazon right here, this one. This one has some stuff where you can foam it up. This one, just straight out water. And I have both gain in this right now. And, um, and that's my boomer spray. Then, or plus two with the rinseless wash, what you do, usually you do, you have a bucket and you have these solutions in a bucket and then put the instructions. And then you have some, your Microsoft towels, nice ones, you know, soaking in your bucket. And then you basically take one out use it flip it over and then put it in an empty bucket you're never you're not going to dip it back in a solution you want that solution to stay clean or you can even use a wash mitt and have a two bucket one for rinse and one for the solutions you can do it those two ways and uh so you don't you're not mixing the dirt in your good solution and that's one way you can do it for the rinseless wash and that's how i like to would do it for the rinseless wash or if your vehicle's not really dirty before a car show you can do to use your sprayer as a uh, with your wolfgang or suds box or different products on our and you can get by and kind of do like a waterless wash spray this on here with your foamer and then what you know basically do the same steps with your microsoft towel just keep flipping it you might have to use a few of them as long as the vehicle's not really dirty if it's got some medium dirt on it i would make sure you're definitely using the, the sprayers and then your bucket and um and that's a perfect way you can do it at a corn car wash spray your vehicle off Get that knock on that dirt and you can do the, these steps even a waterless you can even do that step if your vehicle's not really dirty you want to you know just spray it down to get it so let's look at it, uh, my car what it looks like for you would want to do a waterless wash so all right here's all uh, the dodge charger looks all dustied up that's perfect to use this product this ethos waterless wash and wax even if it was a little bit, maybe a little bit more dirtier, just mainly dust, I think you can get by with it. You can still do your wheels, you know, stuff like that. Now I'm going to show you a vehicle that you should hand wash, and that's my my Fusion that I drive every day. You can hand wash it, and we'll talk about we'll talk about that real quick. All right, let's come out here. Same thing with the kid's truck. See the dirt, a little bit of dirt on there? You can still get by with a waterless wash. See it? You guys can see that, or you can use a rinseless wash with that one you like. I, I personally like the rinse, rinseless wash better. So here it is. See how dirty it is. From work, look at that. Sorry, the dogs are barking. But that's this. You would not. This is right here is hand washing it. Rinse it down and then hand washing it. But since my vehicle is sold trash right here, and I don't want this black, it's coal. That's what it is. This, that's what that is. Driving to work, um, you know, when it's raining, some of those roads flood and have that stuff on there. 
from the semi trucks. Look at that. So I wouldn't want this on my driveway. So before I wash this, I'm gonna take it to the quarter uh, car wash and spray it down. So basically, here's the other side. That's what I would do before I hand wash this, the rugger with the holes, and then I would spray it off with the car wash. I don't want that stuff on my driveway. So and that's what I would do. And then if I knocked it off, a lot of it off. And it's basically just kind of, you know, a little light dirt. And then I can get away with using the wristlets uh, wash. What do you guys think? Plus, too, if you guys ever use these products or other products, leave your comment below your trips. Your trips. Your tricks. Well, dang, I'm all messed up. Yeah, if you ever used any of these products or other products, leave your tips and tricks below. Or if we have a video, link it up. We'll watch it. Let other guys watch it. So I like this channel to be about help each other out so we can all learn from each other. So that's it for there. And that's what I would do for that one. That's when I would hand wash it. So I hopefully, so I hope this kind of explains a little bit of the process. You know, I hope that's, these are the products I have used and it worked great. And I believe um, Waters Wash and Rinseless wash is perfect for car shows. If you're at a car show and I have done it, where I had my bucket with the lid on it, I had the water in there with the solution, my Microsoft towels when I got to the car show, because it was raining in the morning and the vehicle got like light dirt on it. And I used this sprayer right here with the Wolfgang. And then I had a detail spray to wipe it to dry off. Or you can use any you can even use any detail spray or whatever even a one with a wax in it or bee maker or something like that whatever you like but that's what i would do and that's pretty much it guys i want to make a couple minute video about that subject i thought it was a good idea and uh that's about it hopefully you guys enjoyed this um like i said comment below if you ever tried these products you haven't or if you got any uh tips and tricks on using these products or other ones so yeah, that's about it. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm behind on making some videos. I need to get some out soon. It just rains been a lot too. Even last week it's rained a lot. Um, Got to cut the grass again. So it's been hard to get to any detailed videos out with the rain. Unless I do it in the rain. I don't think that'd be the right way to do it. <laughs> detailing the rain. But um, yeah, I still got to make a video on this. And I want to make some videos on uh, the former right here and different uh, different uh, products and try out and this is a good product too which just gives you wets it up pretty decent and i can even show uh these right here you guys tell me what you like to see so you guys have a great one i appreciate you guys and gals later